In this class, we're gonna look at indicators, technical trading indicators. Now, technical trading indicators are mathematical calculations which are plotted as lines on the price chart and can help traders identify certain signals and trends within the market. Now, there are different kinds of indicators and like their name imply, they indicate different things, you know. Uh, they could either indicate the trend or they could indicate the momentum. They could either indicate the trend of the particular assets uh, that is being traded or they can indicate the momentum of that asset. If the momentum is high or low, then trend, they can detect if, they can indicate if it's an uptrend or a downtrend or even a ranging market. Now, the lagging indicators include moving averages, simple moving averages, exponential moving averages. Now, for your momentum indicators, you have relative strength index, average directional index. Now, the MACD, which is a moving average convergence divergence, can, I can actually say is one of the best indicators that have been designed now because it serves both as a momentum indicator and as a trend indicator. Now, we'll look at examples or we'll look at how to use this, uh, this, these indicators in on the chart. So I'm sharing my, I'm sharing my chart now. Okay, now this is a chart of Litecoin USDT. So we'll be looking at, uh, we'll start with the trend indicator. Now, example of the trend indicator, on trading view, your indicator stands for this F calculate. It shows you indicators and strategies. Now, like I said, indicators are mathematical calculations that help point out certain things on the chart, meaning these things you won't be able to uh, see them clearly. Uh, if you can see them, but the even without the indicator, but the indicator helps to indicate. You know, it helps you to do that calculation in your head. So, uh, a good example of a trend following indicator is you come to indicator, then you search for moving average. There are different kinds of moving average. There's simple moving average, there's exponential moving average, you know, but they are basically lines on the chart. So let's stick to the moving average. We selected that. Now it has been added to our chart. So right now we'll go ahead and customize this indicator to what we want it to be. Now you can change the settings of this indicator by changing the length or the period to what you want. I like to use 50. Then I like to make the color yellow and make it a little thicker. Now I've done that. So I have my indicator on the chart, which is this yellow line. And now this yellow line is indicating the trend of the market. It's telling me that, okay, price is above this indicator. So this market is trending upwards. Now, without this indicator, I can still see with my eyes that price is pushing up. You know, but the indicator could also help you see at what speed or how the slope of, uh, of the slant. And it could also serve as a dynamic support or resistance area. Now, this simple moving average is, an, uh, is a trend indicator which is a lagging indicator. And it's a lagging indicator because it, it shows you what has already happened. Meaning if you're following the candles or price alone, you'll be ahead of this indicator. This indicator tells you this market has turned up late when it has already happened. Why? Because it is based on calculations of previous candles. So that's why it's a lagging indicator. Now, another example is let's add 
another indicator, Lister Morales had uh, an RSI, an RSI which is a an oscillator and it serves as a momentum indicator. Now this is the RSI, uh, RSI. You can change the settings, play around it, but most times it's just better to leave it in the default setting. Now it just the RSI indicates momentum. If market is it shows you overbought and oversold regions of price. This is the RSI. If market is at this point, it means that uh, there are a lot of people buying, 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 and this market is overbought. And because it's overbought, there's a there's a probability that it might drop down so that it can become oversold, where people can say, oh, this asset has come down, let's buy. So it shows that the buying momentum is high. The momentum of this thing keeps going up. So that's why the RSI has two zones. You have the 70 zone, 70 area, then you have the 30 area, 30 levels. So whenever price is around the 70 from 50 or forward, it means that it is market is strongly trending up and there's a lot of buying power happening. Whenever is and such market is referred to as the market is overbought. Now, when the RSI is around 50 and below, maybe around 30, we will say it's oversold, meaning there's selling pressure on that asset, people are selling, so the price is roaring, going lower. When you get to a point, the RSI tells you it's oversold, and at oversold areas, there's a high likelihood that it is going to reverse. Now, there are other indicators that are volume-based indicators, you know. So in our next class, so that's, that's it for indicators. That's it for indicators. There are many of them. So as you go along, you begin to learn which one you want to use or if you want to use them at all. Thank you.